everyone, I'm Nat from Nat Gamer Co. And welcome back to another video of Game Reveal. And in this video, I got a few little things I'd like to show you guys. I think you're gonna press. First of all, I got the video game Dollhouse. Don't know if you can see it that well. My stupid light's going out. I got a little light on my desk and I had to open my laptop up a little so you can see it. There we go. Yeah, I got Dollhouse. It's supposed to be a scary game. I didn't really... Let's see. Welcome to the Twisted World of Dollhouse. Line of Marie, detective suffering from amnesia. Lose yourself in an intense game of cat and mouse. Attempt to interpret the charred remains of your memories. Yes, it sounds like a horror game. From the trailers, I couldn't really tell, but it seems very interesting. It was priced at $33, considering that this came out a little over a month ago. That's pretty good. Yeah, there it is. Looks so nice. Yes, nice. Yes, it's nice. Let's see. Eh. There's the game. Hoping it have another one of those nice reversible covers. But that's not why I also want to get to. I also have another thing, little thing I forgot to show you guys before. And this is the 8 bit do light. This is basically a gaming controller for your Switch light or your Switch. And it works great. If you've seen all those videos of certain people reviewing this controller go watch them because i can't explain it as well as they can but the d-pads on this if you were looking for a really good d-pad which the switch did not provide do this brand ape it do has a lot of awesome retro style controllers that can sync to your switch or your PC, whichever you prefer, and you can play using them. Like I have another 8-bit do. It's the um, SN30 version with the little uh, joysticks, and that one works really great for me because I like to play alternatively when I'm not using a freaking let me. When I'm not using the Joy-Cons. So yeah. This is very. It feels real nice. And because I have small hands. It works better for me. The layout of the buttons. Work good for me. So it's like it's very comfortable for me. Because. I like alternatives. And these kind of controllers. They work really good for my hands. So it's like yeah. That's good. Also the piece of resistance today the brand new switch light yes if y'all didn't know this this was a pokemon edition for the switch light i wanted this version this i've been talking about this long time in my videos this is the version i wanted because look at that it's fucking gorgeous the nice light gray complemented with the deep blue and bright pink it's beautiful it's beautiful Mwah. i love this thing i love the color it feels nice it's it's smooth and it's just oh it's beautiful this is the switch light that people should have waited for because the color is nice alone and the other ones were just a Bright basic yellow, turquoise like this. And this doesn't even count as turquoise. This is more like a bluish turquoise. It's not the pretty greenish turquoise. And then you got the dullest gray in the world. The most basic deep gray I've ever seen. It's it's unattractive. Unless you're the type of person who likes to uh uh, design your switch like with stickers on the back and stuff 
This one's just nice to look at. Camera can hear. Oh, there you go. There you can see the legendary Pokemon on the back of it. It's nice. I love this color. You can link your account, which I did. This one is mostly going to be my uh, eShop games. I'm keeping my big switch to have all of my physical games on. That way I'm not wasting time trying to uninstall games or archive the data so I can make room for new games. This one is going to be eShop exclusive. I'll have eShop games on my other one, but this one is going to be eShop exclusive. In fact, I went and downloaded the majority of my eShop games on here. I got Beat 'em Up Bundle, Dragon Ball, Xenoverse 2, The Blob, I got my Hulu, of course, The Lone Wolf, Katamari Damacy, Reroll, of course, you, you saw my last, well, I didn't even tell you guys about that, because it was pointless, it was, I get the Katamari, uh, plush edition, have you ever seen those, have you ever seen those box boxes, that has a plush in it and a downloadable game yeah that's what I got I got the Katamari one there was a uh, I forgot the other one uh, that one was out and I didn't get it and then I have Mary Skelter 2 with the DLC of course Nefarious, Snake Pass, YouTube my Super Mario Odyssey which was my original Switch bundle and then Asphalt 9, which apparently came out and it's free if y'all want to play it. Not a sponsor here, okay guys? I'm just letting y'all know because I downloaded it as well. But anyway, yeah, this is going to be my eShop only only one. So, that'd be nice. I got a lot of eShop games. There's a lot of cheap ones out there I can play. I want to get Untitled Goose Game and... Donut Country, I want to get that one too, but I will in the future. But the last thing I gotta show you guys is the best thing of all, and I gotta raise my my picture a little bit higher so you guys can see it better. Cause this this one's a beauty. Bam! The Catherine Full Body Heart's Desire Edition, and yeah, my cats are running around my room. It's fucking cold in here. Let's do it. I gotta tear into the box. I like keeping these boxes. Ugh. I'm massive. Okay, my cat turn on my fan for a minute. It's like, what? It's like, why is my fan not on? Okay, and let me get this, get this. If y'all don't understand these kind of bundles, there's a lot of shit in these bundles. This costs $79 for all this shit. Yeah, so let's see what's in it. I actually don't know what's in it. But let's see what's in it. Uh, it's very, very beautifully done box. Yes, there's all the shit that's in there. But let's open it up and see for ourselves. All right, pull out the first thing. Ah, steel case. Very nice, very lovely. I haven't gotten a steel case since I had gotten the Soul Calibur edition. And there's the game inside there. Isn't that nice? Ooh, that's awesome. I love it when they do these kind of steel cases. They're nice. In the launch edition, you can also get the steel case as well. So if you're not looking for the big stuff like I do, you get the you can still get the steel case with the launch edition. And here is the art book. Ooh, beauty. I love looking at art books. 
The Senra and Kagura are both good. so beautiful. Mm. I actually never played this game. I actually watched uh, Cinnamon Toast Can play the or original Catherine game. I actually never played it myself. I had it on my Xbox 360, but I never played it. I'm ashamed of myself for that. Okay, what else was there? There's something else in here. Uh, there is a soundtrack. There's a soundtrack to the game. Sadly, I'm not a fan of these because I never listen to it. And the only way I could listen to it is on my little radio, and I don't feel like doing that. No. But last but not least is the plush. I love these kinds. I love the times that they include like, the plush, or, like include something special with it. And here it is. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I got a little polka dot underwear pants. It's cute. Oh, I love that. I love game exclusive plushes like this. Like in uh, Japan and certain parts. You could get a uh, a bundle of the I already mentioned Neptunia V two or or V two yeah V two or something like that I can't remember which one and it would include Umio the it's a little fish with a funny face and you would get him and I actually got him. Without the bundle, I was able to buy him because someone was selling him on eBay. So I was like, "Yay!" And now I got this little guy. This is so cute. I love it. Okay, so that's it for now, you guys. I, if you want to get this game, be mindful. It's a little out there, a little erotic to me, at least. But. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry it ran so long, but I had so much stuff to show you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next gaming video. Bye-bye.